I understand, Brian, that you uh, got to see Murdoch leaving the courthouse, asked him some questions. What did you observe in his demeanor upon exit? Yeah, I just ran uh, over there, Chris. They brought him out the back door. They had a van waiting for him right behind the courthouse. Um, and he came out very, very quickly. Uh, I asked him a couple of questions, Chris. Uh, take a look. There it is. I don't think you can hear me asking the questions, Chris, but I basically shouted at him, you know, what do you say to your surviving family members, Buster, who you just brought up, um, and, and if he plans to appeal? He didn't, he didn't answer the questions. Looks sort of stone cold, which was interesting in court, too, when they read the verdict, as much crying as he did during the trial, and he cried a lot. I mean, you know, it was like snot crying, very emotional. Uh, today, when the, when the verdict was read, he just sort of looked straight ahead. He looked frozen. He looked almost stunned, and his son, Buster, sort of had the same look uh, on his face, too. Well, look, uh, you and I and many of us observing this uh, have good reason to speculate that his team thought this could go the other way. Uh, they felt very good about how they chipped away at the prosecution's case, right? So he had reason to be stone cold shocked. Yeah, absolutely. And that was the word out here on the street and in the town, too, for the last couple of days. Pretty much everyone that I've talked to thought that it was going to be a hung jury, thought that they were going to be deliberating for quite some time. They were talking about having to work the weekend. So when three hours in, uh, everybody starts rushing into the courthouse, people thought maybe they're ordering dinner. Yeah. Maybe they have a question. And then when there was word of a verdict, people were really, really stunned.